Hey, what's up guys? Ryan from Elevate Security here. And uh, in this one we'll be answering Jonathan B's question, which was, is it okay to look up write-ups um, when learning on Hack the Box, CTF, stuff like that? And uh, his follow-up question is if I had any suggestions on courses, I'm assuming related to offensive security and stuff like that. Well, to answer the first question, <laughs> yes, it's absolutely okay to look at write-ups uh, on other boxes, especially if you hit walls and stuff like that. In fact, a lot of my learning has been, you know, looking at write-ups. What I try to do is I try to set aside a certain amount of time that I try on my own first, because of course, you know, I'm, I'm sure this is what he was kind of fearing. And yeah, you don't want to fall into the habit of just looking things up right away all the time, right? You want to challenge yourself to try to figure it out on your own, of course. Um, but with that being said, especially if you're really new, you know, don't be afraid to just have a couple boxes where you just, you know, you, you look them up and you know, that's what the that's what the retired boxes are for, really, right? If you're using Hack the Box, right? If we're talking about Hack the Box, they got active boxes and retired boxes. Now, on the active boxes, you're actually, you know, it's against the Hack the Box policy to do any write-ups or, you know, walkthroughs of them. So that's what those boxes are really for. Those are boxes that shouldn't, you know, theoretically shouldn't right have any spoilers on them, how to solve them. Uh, or anything like that, right? So, what you can do is use those as your boxes where you you kind of push yourself. You kind of, even if they're a little bit out of your out of your range, but you know, split your time however you want to split it. Maybe a 50-50 split of doing the retired boxes, and even when you do the retired boxes, right? You're going to try to do as much on your own as you can. But if you hit a wall for, I don't know whatever arbitrary time you want to set for yourself, maybe 30 minutes of hitting a wall or an hour of hitting the wall, then uh, then look up, not a whole walkthrough, but just like a part of it. Now, I will say, if you're brand, brand new to this and you haven't ever hacked any, like rooted any boxes on your own, then yeah, go ahead and, and use a few boxes just to look at the walkthroughs and try to you know produce it A to Z. That's fine, <laughs> you know? The, the only way you can really go wrong here is if you're constantly constantly relying on looking up solutions and step-by-step -step walkthroughs on the on these machines as long as you're challenging yourself at a certain point challenging yourself to do it on your own then you're going to grow now a flip side to that even if you are able to figure out all these boxes on your own it's it's actually really beneficial still to look at write-ups reason is there's many ways to skin a cat if you will when it comes to offensive security there's you know a great number of ways to do the same thing and to achieve the coveted root shell at the end now all attackers are gonna have different methodologies different ways of thinking about things different tools they use and uh, different ways that they achieve that same end result so it can only benefit you and I would recommend for all the boxes that you do hack of the retired boxes go and look up uh, how someone else did it afterwards right that's how you're gonna grow a lot as an attacker you know because you can take a little bit from what one person does a little bit from what I do maybe a little bit from what some other content creator does or you know some guy you found on a blog post or whatever and those can be little pieces, little tools that you add to your tool belt. And you know, through the compound effect, right, of constantly grabbing a bit here, a bit there, and making it your own, that's just gonna make you overall that much stronger as a hacker, as an attacker, right? So definitely don't think that using write-ups is, you know, looked down upon or or not like a legit way to learn this stuff. Make use of it, make use of the best of both worlds, right? Go out on your own and try to do the active boxes on your own, but then use the retired boxes to, you know, find out how other people did them. Uh, especially if you hit a wall, right? So that's gonna make you that much stronger. Now, if you're going for OSCP, 
you're gonna have to do them on your own anyway, so you're gonna get a lot of practice in doing things on your own. I will say firsthand that I learned a lot from other people's write-ups uh, on these boxes, and that helped me see other ways of of doing it, and then I kind of made it, made my style my own, right? So I hope you guys go out and do the same thing. So yeah, if this video is of help to you, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments section if there's any further questions uh, that you'd like me to make a video about, and I will see you guys in the next one.